and uh, mostly thanks to this uh, red turn player in the upper left hand corner it is Bunny of course uh, he took uh, the third and fourth map in this series after TLO took map number one but unfortunately lost to uh, Diffe on Secret Spring the stupidest map in the map pool Hello, you thermal in the chat, having a discussion about with with a lot of long sentences. I can't really keep up with it all. Um, I just, I just, I don't know what's going on. So I hope you guys are playing nice, though. Mark, why aren't you a mod on my channel? Why are you not a mod? Huh, Mark? Huh? Huh? Oh, because I can't log. Because, because apparently I'm logged out. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? Not. Man, I really, I really hate to twitch sometimes. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm trying to, trying to do something. Then we'll introduce our Blue Protoss player in the bottom left of the map from EC Visualize. It's fear. Oh, well, now my chat reloaded and I can't see anything. Arr! Bunny gonna uh, move away from the command center first this time around. He's gonna be looking to open up with just standard Reaper opening, um, which is not really too much of a surprise either. I mean. Yeah, we're well, just mixing it up a little bit. We'll probably end up going for a similar composition, a similar mid game. Uh, could mix it up a little bit by uh, going for a little bit of a mind drop early on, a little bit of aggression. Um, but at the same time, I feel you might just play very standard here and just say, you know, in a straight up game, probably going to win. So, um, so I'm just going to play straight up. <laughs> that, 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 that's how I think he should feel. That's how I, in my opinion, think he should probably play it, but uh, you know, we'll see what he does, we'll see how much gas he wants to mine here. Um, of course, if he wants to just go into extra barracks, then he'll be able to just uh, pull out at one, at uh, 50 gas, um, get that reactor, otherwise he will just uh, keep on mining gas and that on the factory um, after the reactor, and it looks as though he will keep mining gas here, so uh, but he continuing to mine gas, he's actually got an SEV on the other side of the map as well, looking to scout out his opponent, and uh, will fear is going to come into a proxy in a location. Uh, not really, uh, so we could see a uh, Stargate coming down here in a few moments. As uh, There's only a single gas though, so I guess unlikely. If you're really just looking to expand here initially, and he's about to drop it down. Okay, it doesn't get blocked by an engineering bay or anything. Reaper is heading across the map here, guys. And Bunny's not too worried about proxies at this point. I mean, if it's just a single gas, it's the, you know, it's not going to be a proxy. Um, and he's going to be able to scout, uh, count the number of pylons with his Reaper here. So he's going to pop up, he's going to see one. And he will see two. Now the third pylon is what he's really going to want to look for to see whether this is going to be a proxy or not. And there it is in the back of the base. So uh, not going to proxy. It is actually just coming back in here to scout. So he sees the uh, command center coming down. And he's actually going to see the most important thing here. As uh, Reaper's turned away by the motorship core. The most important thing being a factory is on the way down. So Fia getting a great read at the start of the game. He finds out that it's going to be a factory opening. And mo some kind of mine drop most likely. Or something along those lines. Um, and not just going straight into extra barracks. So that will change the way he opens. He means he has to make sure he has an observer out for detection. Probe will get caught, but a worthwhile sacrifice to get that sort of info at the start here. All right, guys. So, but he's just taking the middle of the um, taking the middle of the map with that Reaper. He's uh, going to keep on moving down here, move towards this natural uh, nexus, and see if he can get any further information. Will he actually just try and sneak around the back uh, unspotted? Okay, I guess it's going to be a spot now that Maxis finishes. Um, just seeing if any probes transfer or anything, and just uh, thinking about whether he wants to actually go up into the main base. Look at that, just back forth, back forth, back forth, back forth. And he sees the stalker now, and we'll just move away. So, but only just uh, exercising his fingers at the start of this game. Using a bit of his APM to just move a Reaper around, because there's probably not too much else for him to be doing. A couple of Marines being made at a time here from that reacted barracks, as the sec first mine is about to pop out. And uh, Starport is about to finish up here as well, second mine on the way. And uh, these units are going to be able to be uh, start moving across the map here very shortly. A probe is being sent out, so see what, uh, well it looks as though he's going into Blink, of course he built that Twilight Council. Which is yet to be scouted, this Reaper has not jumped into that main base in a very long time. Um, so he hasn't seen that Twilight Council and... Um, so, you know, Bunny's a little bit blind, but he's being aggressive, and so he's probably going to hope to uh, distract at the front and jump in at the back at the same time with the Reaper. So, uh, kind of expecting that as he comes towards the front right now. The Mothership Call a little bit out of position to drop a foot on Overcharge. Uh, the Reaper will jump up here. He's going to be able to probably get the scout if he goes straight towards the back, and, well, some pros are going to die on this natural, almost definitely. There's one and nearly two, and a mine will burrow here, and it's a delayed robo facility as the Reaper does see the... Uh, the uh, upgrade in uh, Twilight Council, so he'll probably figure out that this is Blink. Medivac is now loading another mine up that will head towards the main. And again, there's no there's no detection here. Um, 
the robo facility was delayed and he's not going to get an observer out before this mine goes off again so he's going to get at least a little bit more damage done and he's also got a mine in this medevac coming down the left hand side of the map right here two workers killed overall uh, one was by the marines and one by this mine so pulls away at the right time and uh, just one more kill from the mine and uh, it's pretty much the perfect way to deal with that bunch of bunkers being added on here for bunny and of course with just one barracks uh, well a second one you know delayed barracks basically because of the way he's opened here he will just go into siege tank production and use uh, siege tanks to try and help defend here well the mine gets five kills in the main base though wow that's not meant to happen that's really not meant to happen observer on the way out to rally straight towards the main um, and observers actually already uh, cleaned up over here as well as uh, some stalkers moving forwards. How many gateways are we on? Just three, so not really too much aggression coming in from fear. Um, he'll want to take his extra gases on his uh, natural in a moment. I mean, he is, he is looking to definitely get aggressive. Um, he's putting down another pile on even further forward, but I can't really see him doing too much with only three gateways. And again, he probably does want to just take these gases very soon and uh, start actually mining from them to start transitioning, because with, with only three gateways, there's only so much you can do. Again, like, I, I've said it twice now, like, he's going to pick up a few SCVs here. But I mean, you know, killing a couple of SCVs is fine. You know, that, that that's great, but you know, you need to follow up behind it because killing a few SCVs is not going to win you this game. I'm going to start working down on these rocks, and uh, maybe just can't afford to extra gateways, which he would have liked to make because he's lost a few probes because he's taken a little bit of damage from the aggression of Bunny. And uh, Bunny with a siege tank here is going to stop these rocks from going down. That's pretty nice. And uh, well, there's not much. Okay, there's I say there's not much in the main base. There's actually already the tank here. And a bunker set up as well, so I mean, but he's pretty well protected all over. I mean, still, if he blinked up here, there's only one Marine in this bunker. Um, so he could probably kill the tank, kill the bunker, but by then, the rest of the units are here, and he's not going to get too much further damage done, so... Rubble Bay on the way, then, and uh, that is the follow-up where I'm pretty much expecting Colossus production will begin shortly. Whoop is on the way, too, to try and, uh, you know, just be a little bit annoying, try and get some damage done, should Bunny move out on the map. A uh, nice couple of blinks here, and again, just forcing some SCVs off the line, he actually will kill a bunker. So uh, that's kind of nice, but the um, bunker is very easily replaced. As uh, another transitorik will come down at the front as well. So Bernie just uh, deflecting, looking to deflect anything and everything right now. You know, DT is walking in. No, not going to happen. Um, you know, attacking the main base. No, not going to happen. Another tank even positioned here. And um, yeah, Bernie looks good. I mean, he's uh, stopped even the rocks from going down, so he hasn't had to. No, that's because he has the tank, so he can zone out uh, damage on these rocks quite nicely. Um, so yeah, he's, he's in a nice position. Uh, only looking great with a five worker lead of course and he's got double mule and um, that's pretty great as well as uh, the reactor will now come down the factory extra barracks are added on so going straight up to five racks and uh, that will uh, suggest he wants to be pretty aggressive here as uh, these stalkers blink away once they come under tank fire charge starts up extended from lance on the way too I mean fear just building up towards this mid game right now and expecting him to probably try and drop a third base at some point in the near future um, but he had to drop a third base as well. Again, he put them 4th and 5th barracks down first, so he wants to just make sure as that Observer gets picked off. Really nice pick off there. Um, he just wants to make sure he can. he's actually going to be very aggressive here initially, and then expand behind his aggression. And you know, I always think it's a, basically the way to go after a blink opening, because you definitely have so much potential to kind of move across the map and uh, do a little before your opponent's kind of ready to go. This Wolpism now is the prime time for it to move forwards here. Four Zelts are loaded up, and it will move forwards in towards the main base. Bunny with his uh, production cycle... Um, only just starting, so these guys might be able to get a bit of damage done. These stalkers blinking away in the middle of the map right now, distracted from actually sending this uh, what person forwards in fear. In the supply block too, losing a pylon, and that's going to hurt him a little bit as he uh, really now is the time he would like to be warping in to so begin defending, and uh, needs to kind of blink away from this. He's a colossus, and uh, there's only one colossus though so far. Zeng about to join up, but three tanks. He's going to be able to put a pretty solid siege on this army, and he gets actually manages to grab a bunch of stalkers there. And these tanks siege is going to be very hard. For uh, Fear to be able to move forwards into this, the uh, Warp Prism goes into the main right now, so damage will be done. But enough damage to compensate for losing your natural nexus? I don't really think so. This pile is going to go down here as well. Yeah, Robo Bay will begin to go down in a moment or two as uh, he blinks forward onto the tanks, but I mean, there's just not enough stalkers. The Zelts have actually already evaporated. Uh, maybe a tank fire, I'm not sure what exactly killed them, but I mean, they've just gone, and now this Colossus will fall as well. And Bunny. He, he brings us the result we were expecting today. We were expecting EC Visualize to get more or less whitewashed. And uh, Def A surprised us. He took a map on his Secret Spring against Yellow. GG, well played, sir. Fear taps out. And uh, Bunny takes the series for Team Liquid. Four games.